Alrighty, people. Well, some news today about three new Pokemon animated series that are coming out in 2023. This was announced at a Nintendo or a Pokemon Direct that happened earlier today, and we're going to break that down after the intro. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And yes, today it was announced earlier that two new Pokemon were announced for 2023 and also another animated series, which takes a different style, as you can see here in this picture. This is coming from Distractify.com or whatever it is. Distractify.com probably. So I've never watched any of the Pokemon anime, but Ash Ketchum is apparently like the big one of the big characters from from the show who's been in many of the shows and some of the games and apparently he's retiring so shortly after it was announced that Ash was being retired as a main protagonist for the Pokemon anime it was revealed that the series will continue with a new set of protagonists furthermore two more anime projects were announced during the August 2023 Pokemon presents live stream event Here's what we know about each of the anime series that are coming out this year. Pokemon Horizons is the first one. So Ash passes the torch to Liko and Roy, two aspiring Pokemon trainers who start their adventure at the Paldea region that was first introduced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Two of them travel together with their Pokemon Sprigatito and Fuequico. I don't know. That sounds like Passed on me. Sounds like an Italian dish. Can I have some fucoco, please? Fucoco. Hey, can I get a bit of extra parmesan on my fucoco? Or whatever the hell it is. Sprigatotto. As they travel the Pokemon world and try to uncover the secret behind Liko's strange pendant and Roy's mysterious Pokeball. So the series already came out in Japan on April 14th. Damn, I never even heard of that at all, but I don't know. The series first, first began airing on April 14th. But the English version of release date is still TBA. Second, we got Pokemon Paladin Wins. The animated adventures of Pokemon are no longer simply confined to the original anime. A new miniseries was unveiled called Paladin Wins, animated by Wit Studio, who previously worked on anime like Attack on Titan. This exclusive web series. Okay, so it's just going to be a web series? follows academy students as they strive to make their own individual marks in the Pokemon world. Hmm. The series will consist of four episodes and will premiere on the official Pokemon YouTube channel on September 6th. That's pretty cool, actually. So, I don't know if that means it's free or you have to... I don't know if, po if YouTube even has, like, the original things anymore, because they used to, but then they got rid of it, I think. And lastly is Pokemon Path to the Peak. So this is actually a little bit different. Uh, the style isn't is like an anime style. It's more of a CG, CG style. Though not technically produced in Japan, Patch of the Peak represents another unexpected expansion for Pokemon animated installments. This series takes place outside of the main Pokemon continuity where a young girl named Ava starts competing in the competitive scene for the Pokemon trading card game. The first episode will debut on the official Pokemon YouTube channel August 11th. So that's two new Pokemon shows that are going to be debuting on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Today's the 8th, so that's a couple more days and it's going to be on there. So here's a little look at this Pass of the Peak show. It's definitely a way different style. More of a 3D, but not like super detailed 3D an animation. I really don't know anything about Pokemon. I've never, really played, I've never played the games at all. I've never played a Pokemon game in my life. So I have no idea about the connection from the shows to the games or whatnot. But, you know, I'm always just more excited that more and more animes are coming out. Even though there's already a lot of anime, Pokemon anime on Netflix and other, other stations. It probably, it probably has, of all the video game adaptations that are out there, Pokemon probably has the most from what I've seen. If I had to guess. Well, here in the background we have the Pokemon Horizons trailer playing. But I just wanted to take a look at it's like a pretty standard anime. It looks nice, you know. Almost has a little bit of a Miyazaki style to it, but I'm pretty sure Studio Ghibli isn't doing this. 
But yeah, what do you guys think about these new Pokemon animes? Are you excited at all for them? Do you care? I mean, I might check them out, but I mean, my list of shows that I need to check out that have come out and are coming out is continually getting bigger. But any new news of animated adaptations or live action is great. So I should just watch these just to see if they're any good. But it'll be hard to review when I don't know anything about the games, really. But we'll see. These are coming out pretty soon. So the announcement just happened earlier today. And two of the three shows are coming out, like, soon. So that's, that'll be interesting. So let me know what you think. If you're interested, let me know. If you don't care at all, let me know. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to keep gaming.